Hello there, my magnificent manifestors. It's Tuesday morning at 1030 Mountain Central Time. Now that is our new time for the tidbits for transformation. Tuesday and Thursdays at 1030 Mountain Standard Time. So make sure that you subscribe so you do not miss an episode. My name is Lynn Switzer. I am your Dream Life Fairy Godmother. I work with the Law of Attraction, helping you to accomplish your dreams, getting crystal clear about what it is that you want, and falling in love with your life along the way. Now, today's transformation, tidbit for transformation, is all about what the law of attraction actually is. You see, the law of attraction has meant so many different things for so many different people over the course of the last few years, especially since the early 2000s when the movie The Secret came out. Oh, don't get me wrong. Absolutely amazing movie. But a lot of people still had questions after seeing it. And I was one of them. I get asked all the time exactly what the law of attraction is. So I'm going to break it down for you. Simple and easy here today in this tidbit for transformation. Now, first thing you need to understand that the law of attraction is also known as the law of reciprocity. It is one of the 12 universal laws. I'm not going to get into that because I only have 10 minutes here on this live video today. But <clears throat> the law of attraction or the law of reciprocity is simply what you put out there, you attract back. Like attracts like, right? So for example, if you were thinking bad about people and you were always negative and complaining about your life, well, more bad things are going to happen in your life. If you are very positive and you're concentrating on focusing on accomplishing your goal, then you're going to attract a lot of situations that's going to help that happen quickly and easily if that's what you want. I'm assuming so. Most people want to accomplish a goal that way and not, you know, beating their head up against a wall. But regardless, here's the thing. What you are at an emotional vibrational match for is what you are going to attract into your reality. Now, I know that's kind of hard to understand because I need to break this down a little bit further, okay? Through my study of sciences and reading journals put out by esteemed college, universities, that type of thing, a lot of people that are doing research in different fields like quantum physics, astrobiology, psychology even, theoretical astrophysics. I love physics, but anyway, I digress. There's a lot of heavy hitters in science that are all basically the same, saying the same thing now. Your thoughts attract your reality. Okay? So, <clears throat> here's how this works. You think about it with your conscious mind. And you come to some sort of conclusion about something. And if you think about it over and over again, that's called a habit or a repeating pattern. So, whatever that re habit or repeating pattern is, is then told to your subconscious mind, which doesn't have the capacity of thinking in any way, shape, or form. It just carries out orders. And it's through your subconscious mind that sends an energy signal to your cells. 
Now your cells vibrate at a certain level, a certain rate. And when your cells vibrate, it puts it out into the universe what it is that you want. Okay? It also causes things like muscles to contract or you to drive a car or order something online. Go shopping at your favorite store. Eat at your favorite restaurant. These are all processes that are included in this. Now, when you were <clears throat> being conceived in gestation in your mother's womb, you were given the programming of how to survive, your heart to beat, your intestines to digest, your lungs to breathe. These are not something that you normally have to think about. These are handled also by the subconscious mind. Now, with the subconscious mind telling your cells what to do and how to react, things happen. You go out and get that table lamp that you've been looking at online. Or you move your finger and you click buy now and add it to your shopping cart and then enter your credit card information. And then it comes home or it gets shipped here and it's in your reality physically. Anything you want is no different. You see, whatever you put out there, the actual law states that it will bring you back a vibrational match. So now you understand how you put out that vibration. I'm going to really suggest, my magnificent manifestors, you stay positive. You stay as happy as you possibly can, given your situation. Because that's going to help attract more positive situations in your life. Don't be talking negative about people. They're going to be talking negative about you because that's a vibrational match. All right. So basically, the law of attraction nowadays is basically an umbrella term for all the universal laws. However, it's a direct match for the law of reciprocity. And that basically states like attracts like. So my magnificent manifestors, I want you to take a look at your life. What are you attracting? Where are your thoughts? Where's your vibrations? Because I promise you, there is nothing in your life that isn't there by your choice. All right. So you can watch uh, the Fairy Godmother show on YouTube tomorrow morning live at 1030 Mountain Standard Time. You can tune in also for Thursday's Tuesday, Thursday's Tidbit for Transformation. Guys, I'm having problems talking today. I didn't get much sleep last night, but that's okay. I want to let you know that if you are unhappy in your life, or if you believe that if you only earned enough money, or were thinner, or were married, or single, whatever it may be, perhaps if you had more friends, then you would be happy. Hey, I'm talking to you. I want you to listen up even more, okay? You see, what you fail to realize is that lasting happiness doesn't come from anything outside of yourself. Nor does it just happen for some by accident. You see, you are responsible for creating your own happiness, regardless of the outer circumstances. My magnificent manifestors, do what brings you joy. This is your one and only right. So go out and have fun and live it to the fullest. Accomplish your dreams. Love your life. Quit being a wallflower. You see, you get what everyone else gets. You get a life. Go out and start living your dreams. Tune in every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, either here on Facebook or on YouTube 
at 1030 Mountain Standard Time for another tidbit for transformation. And if you are ready to reconnect to your vitality or your happiness, perhaps your prosperity and abundance, maybe you want to increase your personal power or live in personal freedom that you create, and I promise you that this is your birthright, my magnificent manifestors. If you want to live out your dreams and experience the best possible life for you, then I want you to contact me through my website, which is mycelestialgarden.com. I have put the link over there in the description. And we'll sit and we'll chat for 30 minutes. We'll talk about what you want in life. We'll talk about what's stopping you. We'll talk about what you can do right now to change your reality. But most importantly, you're going to leave the session with hope again that your life will change and can change because you create your reality. So until tomorrow on YouTube at 1030, my magnificent manifestors, have a great day.